Season 2 Harmony Beyond Hell. A Neo Genesis. After a millennium of training with the enigmatic Master Marshal, Neo has mastered the Quantum Slap and Rap of Infinity, a move so powerful it can cause suns to explode. With this newfound power, he has defeated the devil in every lifetime, timeline, every universe, every multiverse, and every corner of the omniverse. Now, Neo and Trinity stand as the new co-CEOs of Hell, a position they never anticipated. Chapter 1, The Company CEOs of Hell, A Most Bogus Promotion. Neo, the one, vanquisher of the Matrix, slayer of Agent Smith, had seen some things. But none of them prepared him for the flaming elevator ride down to the 666th floor. Trinity, his ever-present badass counterpart, adjusted her leather trench coat, her glare enough to melt the infernal brass buttons decorating the elevator walls. So, she drawled, her voice echoing in the cramped space, you're telling me we beat the devil at his own game, and this is the reward? Stuck managing a bureaucracy worse than the IRS? Neo, still sporting his signature bewildered savior expression, shrugged. Maybe it's like that time we ended up in that wedding? Divine intervention with a dash of cosmic irony? The elevator lurched to a stop with a groan that could have been mistaken for Lucifer himself grumbling about overtime. Stepping out, they were greeted by a cacophony of demonic wailing, bureaucratic grumbling, and the faint strains of ACDC's Highway to Hell, leaking from a nearby office. A cherub with a bored expression and a clipboard materialized in front of them. Welcome, your infernal majesties, he droned in a monotone that would make even Peter from office space weep. Orientation starts at 9, dress code, business casual, fire resistant, coffee's lukewarm, thanks to budget cuts. Trinity, channeling Elizabeth Hurley at her most seductive, arched an eyebrow. Look, cherub, is this some kind of cosmic joke? We battled a fallen angel for, like, forever, and now we're stuck running this. This, flaming filing cabinet? The cherub sighed, the movement making his halo wobble precariously. Look, lady, it's either you or Satan Jr. And trust me, you don't want that little firecracker in charge. He wants to replace the lake of fire with a giant slip and slide. Apparently, it's more engaging for the damned souls. Neo rubbed his temples. This is giving me a serious case of deja vu. Didn't Brendan Fraser deal with something like this in a movie? Suddenly, a booming voice echoed through the hallway. All right, minions, pipe down. The new management is here. Two figures emerged from a cloud of brimstone. A portly demon with a comb over that defied the laws of physics and a woman with fiery red hair that seemed to cast an eternal spotlight on her bored expression. Welcome, Neo and Trinity, the demon said, extending a hand that reeked faintly of sulfur and regret. I'm Belial, the former company CEO. This lovely creature here is Lilith, the uh, former head of public relations. Lilith crossed her arms and shot Neo a look that could curdle unholy yogurt. Former because apparently, customer service is a priority now. Who knew? Neo cleared his throat, feeling woefully unprepared for this bizarre turn of events. So, what exactly does being county CEO of Hell entail? Belial chuckled, a sound like gravel crunching. Paperwork mostly. Lots of paperwork. We, uh, haven't quite caught up on the whole eternal damnation thing in a while. Turns out, running an efficient torture operation requires a lot of forms in triplicate. Trinity snorted. Sounds like heaven with a worse dress code. Lilith perked up. Speaking of dress code, I've got some ideas for a new uniform line. Think hot pants and flame retardant fishnets. Maybe a touch of tenacious D for that rebellious spirit. Neo exchanged a look with Trinity, a glimmer of amusement flickering in his usually stoic eyes. Maybe, just maybe, this wouldn't be so bad after all. Maybe they could turn hell into something different. Perhaps even a little bit wickedly awesome. Chapter 2, The Quantum Dollhouse. Belial's orientation, delivered in a monotone that would put a sloth to sleep, left Neo and Trinity feeling like extras in a particularly bureaucratic episode of The Good Place. The paperwork was endless, the complaints from the damned were soul-crushing, and the only perk seemed to be Lilith's surprisingly catchy heavy metal elevator music. 
Their first real test arrived in the form of a flaming scroll delivered by a particularly disgruntled imp. It was a court order. Apparently, as part of some ancient demonic bylaw, Neo, the vanquisher of all things evil, was sentenced to playtime? Trinity, channeling her inner Wonder Woman, raised an eyebrow. Playtime? Seriously? The imp shrugged, his tiny horns twitching. Court order's pretty clear, milady. Says here you gotta be the plaything for a particularly bored soul. A holographic image flickered to life, revealing a pouty-faced cherub with a pout that could rival Lucifer himself. Below him, a caption read, Lord Cherubim III, heir to the throne of whining. Trinity groaned, great. Just what I always wanted, a whiny cherub with a superiority complex. Neo, however, felt a curious tingle run down his spine. He remembered the Oracle's cryptic words before their final showdown. The greatest battles are fought not with fists, but with adjustments. Maybe this playtime was more than it seemed. The scroll shimmered again, revealing a peculiar contraption. It looked like a dollhouse, albeit a sleek, high-tech one with glowing panels and buttons. Introducing, Belial's voice boomed through the intercom, the quantum dollhouse. State-of-the-art AI technology allows the doll to adapt to the player's desires, ensuring maximum entertainment. Trinity eyed the dollhouse skeptically. This feels like a trap. Everything in hell feels like a trap. Darling, Lilith drawled, filing her nails with a demonic manicure set. Just roll with it. With a deep breath, Neo stepped into the dollhouse. The world shrunk around him, and he found himself staring up at a cherubic face plastered against the glass. The cherub, Lord Cherubim III, squealed with delight. A new doll, and it's green? This is the best day ever. Neo blinked, finding himself staring back at the body of Baby Yoda, complete with oversized ears and a perpetually curious expression. Wait, Neo thought, his voice a muffled squeak in his new miniature form, Baby Yoda? What the actual Matrix? Suddenly, lights on the dollhouse flickered, and a holographic menu materialized in front of Baby Neo. It displayed a variety of upgrades. Jedi Master, Kung Fu Master, even a suspiciously familiar, one, mode. Neo, channeling his inner Yoda wisdom, reached out with his tiny green hand and selected, Upgrade, Problem Solver. Lord Cherubim III tilted his head. Hmm, Problem Solver? Sounds boring, but okay. He slammed his chubby fist on a button labeled, Obstacle Course. The dollhouse floor transformed into a miniature cityscape, complete with rickety bridges and lava pits. Baby Neo, his green eyes glowing with newfound purpose, wasn't about to be stumped by a whiny cherub and a dollhouse obstacle course. He was the one, after all, even in a tiny green package. This wasn't just playtime. It was a chance to prove himself, to adapt, to, well, maybe not save the universe, but at least save Baby Yoda from a fate worse than falling into a lava pit. The Quantum Dollhouse Adventure had just begun. Chapter 3, Stairway to Redemption. News of Neo and Trinity's unorthodox management style spread like wildfire, or perhaps brimstone, through hell. Gone were the days of brimstone lakes and fiery torture. Instead, Belial's demonic yoga classes, Lilith insisted on the heavy metal soundtrack, were a hit, and the punishment department had been replaced with a life coaching for lost souls program. The biggest challenge, however, was Hell's volunteers. These weren't your average sinners condemned for eternity. These were folks who'd chosen Hell, lured by the promise of endless indulgence, a never-ending rock concert fueled by an endless supply of pizza and more questionable delights. It's not exactly brimstone and despair down here, Trinity grumbled, surveying a group of lounging souls strumming air guitars to a phantom band. More like a permanent bachelor party gone wrong. Neo, ever the optimist, saw an opportunity. Maybe that's the key. They crave rock and roll, we give them redemption and a chance at a new life. A kind of, stairway to heaven rewrite. Easier said than done, their first volunteer was a glam rocker named Slash complete with a top hat and enough eyeliner to darken a small continent. Slash had spent the past millennia perfecting his air guitar skills and complaining about the lack of decent groupies. Listen up, Slash, Neo started, channeling his best Keanu Reeves charm. 
We understand you enjoy the rock and roll lifestyle. But wouldn't you like to use your talents for something more? Slash scoffed, a plume of smoke billowing from an unlit cigarette perpetually dangling from his lips. More? Like what? Joining a boy band? Trinity chimed in, her voice laced with her usual steely resolve. We're talking about using your music to inspire, to uplift, to, dare I say, actually play a real guitar instead of pretending. Slash raised an eyebrow, a flicker of interest sparking in his heavily coal-lined eyes. Inspire? Now that's an interesting concept. You got any groupies in this upliftment program? Neo coughed, stifling a smile. Not exactly groupies, but... Suddenly, an idea struck Trinity. Lilith, that heavy metal elevator music? Turns out, it's a hit with the younger crowd. An impish grin spread across Lilith's face. Really? You think they'd be interested in a mentorship program? I could teach them the finer points of demonic power chords. Slash, for the first time in millennia, looked genuinely intrigued. Demonic power chords? Now that's something I haven't heard before. A slow grin spread across his face. Maybe, just maybe, there was more to hell than endless air guitar solos. Maybe, just maybe, this redemption thing wasn't so bad after all. News of Slash's demonic mentorship spread like wildfire. Soon, the hedonistic volunteers were lining up for a chance to learn from Lilith. Belial's yoga classes became surprisingly popular, who knew eternal damnation caused such tight hamstrings? And the life coaching program was booming. Hell wasn't quite becoming a utopia, but it was definitely changing. It was becoming a place where even the most rock and roll of souls could find a path to something. More. Maybe they wouldn't become saints, but at least they wouldn't be stuck strumming air guitars for eternity. Neo and Trinity, the unlikely saviors of hell, were just getting started. Their mission was no longer just to manage a bureaucracy, it was to help these lost souls find their own unique stairway, not to heaven, but to a life beyond the hedonistic haze. The road wouldn't be easy, but with a dash of Matrix philosophy, a sprinkle of rock and roll rebellion, and a whole lot of heavy metal, they were determined to make it one hell of a ride. Chapter 4, Multi-Platform Sensation The once static halls of hell buzzed with an unexpected energy. Gone were the days of monotonous paperwork and fiery moans. Now, flickering holographic screens displayed storyboards, scripts flew through the air courtesy of overzealous imps, and the faint strains of a demonic rock opera echoed through the corridors. Neo and Trinity, the unlikely rulers of this transformed underworld, were about to take their story global, or rather, multi-platform. Books, Belial, sporting a surprisingly stylish pair of reading glasses, held a leather-bound manuscript titled, The Quantum Manager, a guide to running hell with compassion, and minimal paperwork. Aimed at the self-help market, it promised to unlock the secrets of Neo and Trinity's unorthodox management style. Expect chapters titled, Motivating Demons 101, and, how to Deal with a Whiny Cherub, a Case Study. Disney Plus, a heartwarming animated series titled, Little Neo, chronicled the adventures of a pint-sized Neo, complete with oversized ears and a mischievous glint in his eyes. Each episode saw him using his burgeoning powers to help lost souls navigate the complexities of the afterlife. Expect cameos from cherubs with heart of gold and imps with surprisingly good baking skills. Netflix a gritty, adult animation series titled, Hell's Kitchen. Redemption delved into the darker side of Hell's transformation. It followed Trinity as she navigated political power struggles with disgruntled demons, all while trying to keep a leash on Slash's increasingly outlandish demonic music projects. Think flaming guitars and mosh pits with actual lava. HBO Max, a darkly comedic series titled, The Belial Show, offered a mockumentary look at the daily lives of Neo, Trinity, and their dysfunctional staff. Expect awkward staff meetings, impromptu therapy sessions with a disgruntled therapist cherub, courtesy of HBO Max's penchant for highbrow humor, and Belial's constant attempts to turn his yoga classes into a reality show. Amazon Prime, an interactive choose-your-own-adventure story titled, The Volunteer's Odyssey, allowed viewers to step into the shoes of a soul entering hell. Their choices would determine their path, 
From joining Slash's demonic rock band to seeking redemption under Lilith's surprisingly insightful mentorship program. Paramount Plus, a high-octane action film titled, The Uprising, explored the potential consequences of Hell's transformation. A group of power-hungry demons, led by a disgruntled Belial, who felt sidelined by the success of the Belial show, plotted to overthrow Neo and Trinity and return Hell to its former glory, or rather, fiery misery. Expect epic fight scenes, dazzling displays of Neo's newfound powers, and a heart-stopping showdown with a demon wielding a flaming guitar solo so powerful it could shatter reality itself. The response was phenomenal. Belial's book became a bestseller, Little Neo, Melted Hearts Across Disney+, Plus, and Hell's Kitchen. Redemption sparked heated online discussions about the ethics of demonic power chords. Suddenly, Hell wasn't just a place of punishment. It was a bustling universe with something for everyone. Neo and Trinity, once reluctant managers, had become unlikely pop culture icons, their story a testament to the power of redemption, even in the most infernal of places. However, with great power came great responsibility. As they navigated the treacherous waters of multi-platform stardom, Neo and Trinity knew one thing for certain. Their journey as the CEOs of Hell was just beginning. To be continued. Glowing Star Sparkles join us on Patreon for exclusive behind-the-scenes content. Sparkles Glowing Star. Are you ready to dive deeper into the cosmic saga of Harmony Beyond Hell? A Neo Genesis? With our Patreon community, you'll get access to exclusive behind-the-scenes insights, character development secrets, and even early previews of upcoming chapters. By becoming a patron, you'll unlock a universe of extra content. Books exclusive chapter annotations. Get insider commentary from the creators themselves as they reveal the inspiration behind each twist and turn in the story. Paint palette concept art galleries. Explore stunning artwork and character designs that didn't make it into the final chapters, accompanied by detailed notes on the creative process. Crystal Ball Q&A sessions with the creators. Have burning questions about the Celestial Guardians, Neo and Trinity's journey, or the future of the multiverse? Get them answered directly by the minds behind the epic tale. Milky Way Early Access to Chapters Be the first to read new chapters before they're released to the public, giving you a head start on unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Clapperboard Exclusive Video Content Dive even deeper into the world of Harmony Beyond Hell, with behind-the-scenes videos, character interviews, and special features you won't find anywhere else. Join our Patreon community today and become part of the Celestial Chorus shaping the destiny of the multiverse. Together, we'll unlock the secrets of Neo and Trinity's cosmic adventure and embark on a journey beyond imagination. Hashtag unlock the cosmic secrets Hashtag harmony beyond hell Hashtag exclusive content Hashtag Patreon community Hashtag join us now